what you see here is in large, very large part to our talented glam squad. When I'm at home, I look nothing like this. My hair's a mess, and I'm more than likely in sweats. So you can imagine the state of my beauty routine. Mm -hmm. Well, our next guest is here with some high-tech beauty tools that are so cool, you're going to want to take your beauty game to the next level, Cynthia. All okay. right. So please welcome Fashion Magazine's beauty editor. Welcome back to this show, Sarah Daniel. <laughs> tech things in our daily lives, but I don't really think about incorporating that into our beauty routines. Why should I be thinking differently about this? Well, just like smartphones and apps, these high-tech beauty gadgets make our lives a little bit easier. They're also, some of the ones that I brought here today mimic professional treatments that you can get done that are kind of pricey, and this brings them into your home and makes it really easy and convenient, and they're virtually mistake-proof, so they're really easy to use. Okay, I like easy. Yes, we like easy, <laughs> uh, and we like mistake-proof. Okay, so first of all, we're going to tackle our skin with a right. high-tech beauty gadget, but instead of thinking about cleansing, it has a massage function. Mm. Tell yes. us about that. When you massage, yeah, right? when you massage skin care into your skin, it drives it deeper in there so that it, you're going to get better results. It also increases circulation, so you get that glowy, really great skin. This one from Clinique is a cleanser that doubles as a massager, so it comes with the massage head here and um, you just it's it's actually created to use in conjunction with the mask so you turn it on like that so you put the mask on your face put the mask on and then you start sweeping this in sort of circular upward <laughs> motions oh. and it's got a really strong massage it is. To it. it's vibrates it's nicely <laughs> you just yeah. for a few minutes oh, yeah. and and then you can tissue the mask off after. You can even work on your, uh, when people feel like they have tension here in the 11th that oh, everyone talks yes. about, you can apply it there and move it up and down. I have a furrowed sort of brow problem. Like I often look like I'm angry that, and I'm not. I'm very happy. <laughs> okay, and this makes me really happy. Um, <laughs> how long should you use this tool each time in order to benefit from it? So basically a, a few minutes, like one to two minutes is really all you need. Okay. And, um, but it's, it's, if you use it for a bit longer, if you're having a good time, then yeah. Okay, that's right. <laughs> okay, and people exercise their, you know, their body parts, but they don't think about their face. Yes, very they feel true. like they need to build up the little muscles to in their face. The mm -hmm. It's right. really true. So let's, next up we've got a device for our eyes, and specifically yes. those tiny little lines that yeah. tend to appear over time that we don't necessarily love. So Sarah, what is this one all about? So this is uh, the TRIA age-defying eye wrinkle correcting laser. It's a fractional non-ablative laser, which means that it sends these tiny little beams into your skin that triggers it to heal itself, which means it makes lots of collagen and elast elastin, and that's what plumps up your wrinkles. Collagen? Hey. Yes. So turn it on. So the, turn it on. Already ready to go, right? I'm going to turn it on you. Me first. So once okay. it goes on the skin, <laughs> right. so what do you do? You keep it on the skin and you just move it across underneath Ooh, the little, eye. As soon Ooh, as yeah, you, it's a little. It, it's you can feel, feel a little pulsy, like, prickly thing. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay, we got to be balanced. We got to be okay, balanced. Yeah. It's a bit Ooh, of a, yeah. If you haven't had laser before, it might feel a little bit intense at first. But it that does. Just means that it's working. But, and the collagen's being produced. It feels like you're like an elastic band snapping at you, it, a little does. tiny one. It okay. does, but it's working. I can feel myself pumping up as we speak. And it's one, <laughs> one minute under each eye, and then you can see results as early as two weeks. And, and that does feel like something that you would get at a, at a, at a clinic oh. or a dermatologist's office because I can feel it, like the, the intensity of the pulse. Definitely. It's modeled after that, and it's going to be more inexpensive, obviously. If you go to the dermatologist, it's, it can get pricey, and you have to make regular visits to see results, and so you can do this at home whenever you'd like. And how much is that? This one is $285. Okay. Okay. Right. right. When you think about that, that's yep. actually a long term. You know, you have to think about long term when mm -hmm. it comes to your face, not yes. short term. <laughs> okay. Now, Sarah, I love a strong lip, but you say, this next product is going to really help me get my lipstick game to the next level, like really up it. It's what true is it? because bold lips don't look good when you have chapped lips. No, so, no, and that's no. why makeup artists are always talking about exfoliating before you apply like a richly pigmented lipstick. So this tool uh, combines an exfoliating scrub and this sort of polishing head almost looks like a toothbrush. So you apply a thin layer of the scrub on your lips. Um, you can do it on your hand hands. here, okay, yes. Okay, so the, 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 the scrub well, already it feels like, like it granules. Would, yeah, on its own you could use that, absolutely. This okay. just sort of amps it up a little bit. You turn on the little good. polishing head. It smells like fresh Ooh. fruit and tropical. It has some shea butter and crushed walnuts. It's kind of moving so no on fruit. its own. Oh, yeah, no, no, fruit. <laughs> no fruit. It moves Even on its the, own. The, the yeah. walnut oil maybe I'm smelling. Yeah, the mm -hmm. crushed walnuts. This feels amazing. It also reminds me of being at the dentist in a much more pleasant way. Yeah. 
Okay, so that would, and how many times would you use this for optimal results? Is this an everyday thing? You can use it daily. You only need to use it for about 30 seconds. You just do the top and bottom lip, and then, um, yeah, it, you're ready so, to apply your lipstick. That is so good. That's because good. There's nothing more disgusting than, and it happens all it's the time, true. to have your lips just kind of going into your crevices, and you can feel the pieces the coming off. Yeah, talking so to that, you. Yeah, mm. this really plumps them and hydrates them. So you just them. wash your face, do your little, you know, um, mask or whatever, and then Don't you can do that. Don't mistake for your toothbrush. No. <laughs> no? I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we're moving on to actually a makeup device yes. that does all sorts of wonders for blending. And that is one of those things that if you don't know how to do makeup mm -hmm. really well, it's a, you can see it right away when things aren't blended well. So let's okay. talk about this and how it works. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, rather than use brushes or sponges to apply it or even your own fingers, this uses compressed air technology to create this sort of airbrushed effect, almost like an Instagram filter. And the makeup comes <laughs> we like in... like Instagram. <laughs> Instagram filters. Yeah. <laughs> the makeup comes in these pods here. And so there's foundations, bronzers, blush. And then you just, we can demo it here. We'll turn it on. So what's in there? Is that a blush? So this blush is a color? blush so that we can see. It's it's a okay. little, a little goes a long way. So, so I'm going to let you put it on my hand. So we press this button. There's three settings. There's one mm -hmm. for spot treatments. So you, it's great if you have um, a breakout. So this is the blush color. Yes. And so oh, you and see how you can see it sort see of coming up slightly. Right. Let's put it down a bit further on my hand if we can. So you just you do the, that. Do it like this. Like? In cool. circular motion. It's really nice. But that would be beautiful on That's the great. cheeks. This is what makeup artists who work in television and film use all the time. Okay. So would you use this every day or it's only for special events? I think it's one of those things where it just depends on, you know, how much makeup you like to wear. It's a very natural looking finish. It doesn't it seem caked or heavy. It's mm -hmm. buildable. So you can definitely use it for both. And then you buy all these separate little pods. Yeah, I think when you buy the original unit, it comes with a foundation pod that's in your um, in your skin tone. Okay. okay, so let's get into the hair business. Yes. So the high tech business for hair. I love this. It's a big curling iron. It's like something from Star Wars. It did. Like a light lightsaber. <laughs> It actually yeah, is so cool. It's so, it has um, gyroscopic digital technology, which is used in the aviation industry. And it's like a motion detector that when you flick your wrist, I'll come over and... Oh, oh you got oh, it. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, look at that. It's a, motion, it's a motion sensor, so it can detect which way you want it to go. And it's great because, you know, sometimes when you get to the back of your hair, when I used to yes, have longer so it's hair, really awkward. It's, it's hard back yeah. here, but this and is... And it hurts your wrist. Yeah, it, so this makes this it really easy. This is great. Easy. What will they think of next? <laughs> this is hey, perfect. Hey, Sarah, sticking with hair, you brought along a high-tech brush. What is this all about? Right, so this, we're about to get into static season, you know, that crazy Take hair that you hat, get. And yes. then your hair is sticking straight up in the air. Exactly. Yeah. Extreme temperatures, a lot of dryness. So this brush, you just flick it on, flick, it's a battery operated brush, okay. and it delivers these negative ions to the hair, which cancels out that static and immediately smooths it. So you just run it through your hair, and you can see the results. Oh, nice. Okay, that's great. Great for you. I think we have one more, one more product. Yes. We have a device to help beautify our feet. Yes, so, so if you're in between pedicures, this is a great tool. Cracked heels. Get a little engine to that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when you use a file or a pumice stone, but you don't have to put the muscle in it. With this, you can just turn it on and it's good to go. So I like to take care of my, my feet business in the shower. Can I do this in the shower? This one is actually best to use on dry skin. Okay. That's where you're going to get the best And result. how often would you have to replace the, the little um, roller? roller? Every two months, depending on how regularly you're using it. Every two months is ideal. Okay. Hey. Such great ideas. Sarah, thank, thank you. you so much for being here. And of course, you can head to the social.ca after today's show for a recap of all these high-tech beauty tools. And make sure you check out the November issue of Fashion Magazine. And because we want all of you to up your beauty game, we're sending everyone in our studio audience home with these high-tech beauty gadgets. Love a giveaway.